Hey guys, this is Metal Stash here. Today I'm going over how I was able to achieve a multiple selection uh, action with the units. Now I've <clears throat> looked at a lot of tutorials and I've never really found a very good one on how to achieve a multiple selection. Uh, I kind of had to come up with this on my own. Uh, one of the things that I've used is uh, I don't know if everyone uses it I find it very useful is the scripting reference manual by unity it gives you every uh, class and object in the editor and uh, runtime so if you need any properties or functions that you don't know of you can come here I uh, kind of the process that I went through to I uh, figure it out I tried using the uh, physics class to use one of the casting uh, rays or spheres or capsule functions that they have but it just wasn't working right and even with using a you know you can use overlap sphere if you want a uh, spherical selection but I wanted to achieve a box selection just like a normal RTS game and to do that I wasn't gonna be able to use this uh, physics class so I had to come up with something else so thinking for a little while the rigid body class has a function called sweep test and sweep test all sweep test just tests if it touches anything then I uh, I believe it returns a boolean it does and uh, sweep test all is more complicated it returns an array of raycast hits so it gives you all the hits that occur through the sweep and uh, that is what I've used to achieve a multiple box selection Let's just show you guys what it comes out to it works pretty well it works on a uh, as you drag it's it tells you which ones it selects it selects from any angle any side and it works pretty darn well the only thing it doesn't work on well is if you're selected on one and highlight it doesn't always grab it sometimes does sometimes doesn't but the way i achieved this is i told you before i had a selection box object added to my player prefab this selection box is very key to how I select my objects and uh, a key part to the selection box is the rigid body component added to it if that wasn't there it wouldn't work also you have to have a box collider attached to it or else it won't collide with any of your units that have any type of collider attached to them. This one has a character controller so it will collide with the box collider on the selection box. Now the way I do my selection, the selection box is just kind of placed off screen where the camera can't ever see it and I don't let it see it anyways because I set the mesh render off so you know you can't see it anyways but I get where initially I get when the uh, uh, mouse is down the initial part I get the initial mouse position so that I can use that as when you're selecting it draws the box in the right place and puts the selection box in the correct place so then every while the mouse button is down it draws a ray and actually checks if the uh, distance between the start and the current mouse position is greater than a certain distance so that it doesn't draw that uh, this uh, GUI box every time you click so it's it's just a little cleaner uh, so I cast a ray uh, to the ground and then I clear all my selectables just every time so that it 
gets a clear uh, or clean selection every time. And then here comes the actual selection part. I get the selection box just like I got the uh, plane last time and I set its local scale to 100 being the uh, upward direction, 1 being the x direction of scaling, and then the uh, important part which is the um, z direction that it scales which is forward and backwards because the way I have it, the selection box is created on the left side as you as you select this way and that way. But if you select this way, it's on the right side. And to and uh, then I set its position to. Uh, account for the scaling and all that and then you do the uh, sweep test I I did the sweep test all because I want to get every single uh, collision that occurs I want to get all the units that collide with it and it also gives you um the ground so you kind of have to go through and check if it has certain components of a unit so to do that because you can't just do a uh, layer mask like I did for Raycast where I just set it to the ground layer mask I have to actually go through and check if it has a unit component and if that's not null then I need to check if it's team uh, ID is the same as my player ID so that I am able to select it and then of course I add it to my selected units and set its selected state to true now, an important part in this otherwise the box would get in the way and start colliding with your units is to move it back to its boring non-state where it is zero everywhere so that you can't see it and it is off screen so that is about the basic of it um, if this is uh, not the only way to do it there's probably more ways to do it uh, I wanna try to work on getting my GUI box a little better you can see how the side borders when you highlight other ways they somehow turn inverted and it just makes it look weird and I kinda wanna change the color of this box I'm gonna try to get into that later but uh... you guys have any questions have any uh, problems with yours maybe I can help out whatever uh, thanks for watching see you next time